Yeah, along came a... Uh, no, wait. It's a, a Rene Marionettes. Let me get rid of this. Rene Marionettes. Why did it shoot me all the way to the bottom? And it's also a Keter. Alright. <clears throat> it's item SCP-940. Archie Class Keter. Special containment procedures. All known samples of SCP-940 larvae are, are currently in containment. Systematic purging of 940 adult samples from civilians is currently, as of redacted, being spearheaded by a combination of Area 14 research personnel and Mobile Task Force Omnicron 7, a.k.a. Orkin. Samples of Foundation Strengthened Redacted are in the process of being added to commercially available insecticides, which is ex expected to prevent any more wild strains of 940 from arising. All 940 infectees are to be treated as Class 4 biohazards and are to be contained and transported under heavy sedation to Area 14 or otherwise terminated. Safe bodies infected with any 940 strain, regardless of the developmental stage, are to be incinerated. Description SCP-940 is a parasitoid organism with some superficial similarities to troglobitic members of the class Arachnia. Adult specimens are highly agile and possess leg spans from 4 to 7 meters. Due to the difficulty in separating SCP-940 from their host, average weight and body size are moot considerations. Each of their eight translucent legs is dotted regularly with six types of specialized sensory organs, IR-sensitive bit organs, ampullae of Lorenzini, compound and non-compound eyes sensitive to UV, and two additional organs for in in intermediate function, and end in large tarsal claws, possessing scopulae and settles common among species of hunting spiders and allowing them to climb sheer vertical surfaces with ease. 940 possesses a radial nerve net similar to Astoria or the common starfish, and no central nervous system. A spill at 940 rely on their host brain power for processing of external stimuli cannot be ruled out at this time. Infection occurs following exposure to bodily, body fluids containing 940 eggs and larvae. The life cycle of 940 from initial infection to maturity is as follows. Stage 1. And they also have pictures! Oh. Which is kind of cool. Anyways. In stage 1. Infection occurs with the exposure to bodily fluids contaminated with 940 eggs and or larvae. While the larvae at this point are too small to be seen by the human eye, microscopic testing has revealed eggs are typically no larger than 3 to 5 microns in diameter. 940 larvae the only stage of its life cycle with many organ systems necessary for survival prior to integration with the host possess leg spans from 7 to 17 microns. Stage 2. The first 940 larvae to hatch will begin cannibalizing any unhatched eggs, then each other, in order to ensure only one larvae, I mean only one larva, develops into an adult within a given host. Hosts will often complain of abdominal and chest pains at this stage. Note, cases of as many as five larvae reaching maturity within a single host, though rare due to competitiveness between the larvae for a host and the enormous strain placed upon a host's body, have been documented. Oh yeah, I can slightly see it right here. Goodness. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that second picture. Oh. Just, there... ima just huh? imagine something similar to a tick going into your organs, laying eggs, and they fight over it. Yeah. There are stage three. The remaining 940 larva 
migrates to the chest cavity, cavity, typically attaching to a major artery, the heart, or spinal cord. Positioned with its legs oriented towards the host's back, internal organ systems of the larva begin atrophying. And it says right here, death caused by severe heart infestation. So it died of a stroke because the breakdown of internal body consistent with transition to stage four. Oh no. It's not even a final stage. Stage four. The carapace of 940's larva's body breaks down. Legs remain intact. The circulatory system of the larva conjoins with that of the host as does its nervous system. Though to a lesser extent, the larva begins producing a number of enzymes which cause the host's body to increase production of anormal hormones, including human growth hormone. Early, earlier abdominal and chest pain subsides. The host experiences an increase in appetite and general list, listlessness. Oh, I can see it. Jesus, that's big. Stage 5. Approximately three weeks after initial infection, 940 begins to alter serotonin and dopamine levels in the host's brain, causing hosts to experience feelings of happiness and well-being. The legs of the larva, now supply blood and nutrients by host circulatory system, begin to penetrate the skin of the host's back. Hosts typically do not report any discomfort or alarm at this, and rarely seek treatment. Stage six. Oh, well then. <laughs> Approximately five weeks after initial infection, 940 reaches full size and maturity. Hosts are sec secretive about their condition. A form of communication is believed to occur between 940 and its host. For example, hosts have displayed a vague awareness of things occurring behind them. 940 specimens often retra retract their legs, folding them flat against the host's back, allowing them to be concealed with relative ease by clothing. Additionally, 940 triggers an increase in the levels of testosterone in the host's body, leading to increased libido. Oh. Infection of new hosts is facilitated through contact with bodily fluids contaminated with 940 eggs. This is usually accomplished via coitus with an infected host. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to read this because you're here. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> stage 7, which apparently seems to be the final stage. All infected individuals have survived 6 weeks of infection are considered to be in Stage 7. Stage 7 infectees report the loss of sense of individuality, gradually clouding of the eyes, leading to loss of eyesight, and culminating in a near total blindness and bouts of catatonia and catalepsy. Oh, I know what that feels like. Yeah, death is typically due to aneurysm caused by skyrocketing blood pressure, heart or kidney failure, or exacerbation. Infected at this stage can be identified by this strange choking sound they issue as they attempt to draw in. It's insulation, yeah. As they attempt to draw in more oxygen than is possible. When the host biology dies, 940 will continue to animate the corpse by means of its limbs, ex entering a berserk state. In this state, 940 will attempt to reproduce and infect with no regard for concealment, generally infecting physical violence and blood transmission to do so. The state can last from one to three days before 940 expires. Treatment with intravenous antiparasitic compound is possible if administered prior to infection, advancing to stage 3. Addendum. Stage 6 and above adult 940 samples when not attempting to conceal their identities are extremely agile and capable predators. Though the use of this, their powerful limbs and multiple sensory organs, they are highly adept at evading capture. Field agents are to be highly cautious and equipped with with a MOPP-4 gear at all times to prevent infection. Foundation issued nerve gas grenades for suppression purposes. Incident 940-01 
unredacted. Assistant researcher redacted failed to return a live sample of 940 larvae to cold storage, instead allowing the sample to remain unattended in a lab for approximately 45 minutes while on lunch break. That sounds like some, a mistake someone might make. Yeah. It's stupid, but I can see it happening. Just look at the picture. Oh! The resulting breach of containment resulted in seven 940 infe infections amongst research and security personnel and another five in D-class personnel. Well, they don't care about D-class, so... <laughs> The infected wing of Area 14 was isolated for decontamination, and infected Foundation personnel administered intravenous antiparasitic compound. All received treatment within six hours of infection and made full recoveries. Infected D-class personnel were isolated for observation so as to establish a progression of 940 infection and determine how long it remains treatable. Observation subjects D-940-01 D-940-02 and D-940-03 form the basis of the infections given progression above. Subject D-940-04 is the only infectee that did not follow the above reported progression due to multiple larvae reaching maturity. D-940-04 was terminated three weeks into the process when accelerated symptoms resulted in progression to stage 7, completely bypassing stages 5 and 6. Subject D-940-05 was initially believed to be unaffected despite no symptoms of, of 940 infection after three weeks. A full examination found D-940-05 to be pregnant. The unborn fetus was infected. The fetus D-940-06 was allowed to mature. D-940-05 was kept unaware of its condition. Both expired when the legs of, of 940 penetrated. D-940-05's uterus and D-940-06 is preserved, kept in a cryogenic storage at, at Armed Biocontainment Area 14 for study. Uh. I wonder if the ethics community knew about this one. <laughs> I'm not sure if the ethics community would be okay with that. Agreed. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. I just saw the thumbnail. I just yeah. saw the thumbnail. They're not going to draw the... Under the rainbow Jesus pin. Yeah. Um, Jerry, they're not going to draw an anomaly, right? Just based off the end of thumbnail. Oh no. Well, they read the incident report, though, in order to get the thumbnail. Okay, let me look up. You have to make sure I didn't misunderstand when I said it was that they were talking about ticks. Well, actually, Jerry, they have a picture of the anomaly right here. We can look at. Well, yes, but they said the trilogibitic. Let's so see. I'm gonna look up trilogibitic. Okay. I thought that was Tick, but maybe I am wrong. Well, we'll find out. <sighs> I'm already going to tell you I don't like the thumbnail. And while you're doing that, um, Bookworm, are you in chat? Oh. Yep. Oh. What is it? Why did it... Sorry, I'm just slightly angry at the dictionary. And it's fair. It told me to click it, but you want to see what happened when I clicked it? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you wanted the objective, not the definition, right? <laughs> oh my god. Is a bookworm in the trot? Because mainly. Even just oh. assume all the arachnids must be spiders. Which is not because true. Ticks are arachnids and scorpions are arachnids. And ticks are arachnids. Well, yes. <laughs> okay, okay, press, press, press play. I haven't started the video, we haven't done the thumbnail. Oh, you're right. Four. <laughs> four. <laughs> I, I'm going to say four because it's. <laughs> the, I'm not sure if you can see right at the bottom of the mouth. If you go down, they're doing blur with the bright lights to not reveal the vagina. <laughs> Are they saying the vagina is. Never mind. It's because they're doing. The, the the pregnant D class is the thumbnail. Well, yes, but think of this: why would her vagina would be? Why would it be suddenly like hovering up there instead of a little lower? Right. I don't know. But oh, yeah. I just realized. Look at her her leg on the left. Yeah. It's broken. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay. So we got a four. We ready? Yeah, also, I think it suggested she never gave birth to the baby. It was removed. Yeah, they removed it. <sighs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. Did, was it actually three people who wrote this? Well, I don't know, because you can't get the writer anymore on this one. They remove it themselves or something? Because usually it'll be something right here, like click the see the license. Yeah, because it says, unless must otherwise stated, the content of this page is like under creative commons. Huh. Well, I don't know. Oh, well. You ready? Yeah, let's see how much they mistake with a tick. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? That's not realistic. Let's see. Hold on. Let's go back to see how big it is as an adult. Let me make sure. They did say... Hold on. Possess leg spans from four to seven meters, but at the same time, it would have been hiding the legs. It wouldn't show them. Well, that's actually true. Even when it's moving the body, it's not showing the legs. Yeah. So, technically, they didn't get the leg length wrong, but they, they're not hiding it. Let's see how else they are. Are you serious? Yeah. We need a flame drawer. May, Paul, hell, you can't still got the legs wrong because what's that look more like? Tick legs or arachnid legs? Ah, uh, yeah, spiders. It looks more like spider legs or something like that. Yeah, because if we go back here, yeah, they're like real fuzzy, gelatinous looking legs. I don't think they're gelatinous. It's more like they have a lot more joints. That's what I meant. It's mainly because, like, I I kind of see, like, gummy worm kind of legs. That's what I usually remember. That's valid. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said gelatinous. I don't... <laughs> There's more joints than, than spiders. Yeah. Probably makes hiding hey, under shirts easier, too. Oh, yeah. As the words left the agent's mouth, Chen could already see the creature was preparing to jump. He dashed across the room and tackled the agent just as the creature sprung forth. They slammed into the ground, 
One of the claws missing them by mere inches. The hushed sound of muted shots what? rung out from the doorway. The creature stood for a second, looking at the man in the hallway. The fuck's happening, Jerry? Well, let me look up. Do ticks have claws? Well, we can just look. Well, from this one, it doesn't even look like it. All I see is like spiky hairs. <laughs> It has uh, tiny claws at the end of their feet. Ah, uh, okay. Great, and three, two, one. Well, I guess this is a weird the... warped version. God damn it, YouTube. Stop making me go in full screen. Collapse to the ground with a thud. Agent Chen, you owe me one. Put it on my tab, Doc. Nice shot. The hazmat team carried the unconscious creature out of the house and loaded it into the van. Take it back to Area 14. I'll be there shortly. Don't screw around, guys. I don't... Yeah. One, that doesn't fit in the van. Two, how many people would they have to wipe the memories of? Right. Oh, wait. Also, here's another thing. In one of the stages, before it gets to this stage, it would constantly produce growth hormones. So it, it's, it would be able to easily be hid. Meaning the human body would be a lot bigger. Someone taller and more strong. Yeah. Male or female, I imagine. Yeah. I don't know how long it'll remain unconscious. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP 940. Aranid Marionettes. There's gonna don't be an ad. To like, subscribe, and turn There's on gonna the be an ad. Bell. What? Yes, goddamn, I called it. You called it. It's Rage Shadow Legends, god damn it. Of course I'd work with thieves. <laughs> the lab tech placed the vials on the table, being careful not to drop them. You see these? Blood samples from SCP-940. Blood, saliva, all its bodily fluids are carrying larvae. Chen looked at Kloss with a confused look on his face. Blood and saliva aren't the only fluids in a body. Also, why are they all red if it's blood and saliva? Why yeah. Why is not red? And... Also, if it's female, it would have... Mm-hmm. You good, Jerry? Yeah. No, just my phone. Okay. Let's just say there's a lot more fluids than just two. Yeah, here's the other thing. There was two other fluids that were mentioned in the article. The male secretion fluid and vagina fluid that would be contain the anomaly. Yes. Also, <laughs> something else I was trying to say. Yeah. Besides that, would be... Milk excretions, which it, it uh, does yeah. not mention, but they did say every fluid. Yep. Every fluid means all fluids in milk too. Come on, where's the man milk? It's a weird <laughs> comment, but they said all of it. Yeah. Oh my god. Man. Now oh. every milk like all two people watching, I guess, get to hear a gay man going, where's the man milk? Yeah. Yeah. I think, even though Blackburn's not going to be here, I think after this video and we rate it, I'm going to do my announcement I want to do. I don't I, I don't know what, if Blackburn's going to show up or not. That's fair. Yeah. All. When you say all, oh, you mean all. Like all, all. Yes, exactly. Right. No, I don't get it. Saying that while holding a red doesn't tell us anything. Yeah. Also, why would you shake it? 
even I don't if it... know. maybe he wants to compare it to his boyfriend's sperm. <laughs> yeah. The the main reason I had with it is because at my job we do we work with stuff that protects like vials like that. Or like the film that wraps around it. You see it 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 just has a little teeny cork. Meaning it could escape <laughs> if you were to shake it. There's yeah, no so protective really film. Vials like that are covered with a film for protection? That makes sense. Yeah. There's no film protection, which means he was he's gonna infect himself and the other two people there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He's an idiot. <laughs> no, that's only for these files. There's there's others that have like much stronger quirks to keep, you know, if you shake it, nothing will happen. Yeah, but those are shaped yeah. in such a way they probably need the, yeah. the wrap. Yeah. Anyways. Sorry, let me get back to this. <laughs> no, I don't get it. Do I have to spell it out? Really? Okay, how about this? The parasitoid also increases testosterone levels, which creates urges. Those urges Actually, lead to activities between two- I do two not believe increasing testosterone always causes people to be more sexually active. That depends on the person. Yeah. I think it, it's- it, it just- it- it did mention testosterone, but it says increases hormones in general. Not just the testosterone. Yeah. They're trying to get away from saying sex stuff so they can have the video be monetized. But I don't care. I don't care if my video doesn't get monetized. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we feel like they're being so fucking paranoid that they're just being inaccurate and stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Two people, which results in a fluid transfer. Oh my well, why God. didn't you just say that? <sighs> I mean, oh, also, I forgot go... another fluid they don't have that the body has. Spinal fluid. Uh, yeah. Like every fluid, but what about spinal fluid? Yeah. Also, there's a fluid. Well, that's still spinal fluid, never mind. But... You want to know this entire conversation is reminding me? Is a parent trying to get around talking how a, a baby is made to a really young kid? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to make a list of all the fluids they skipped over. Like... <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Oh, have another look at it. Please... Put these samples back into cold storage. The man paced within the room, a look of confusion and worry upon his face. They approached the one-way glass. Pretty standard modus operandi. Infected through bodily fluids, it moves to the central organs and latches on. Legs go through the back and it eventually kills the host. Pretty nasty. But as long as we contain it until it's killed the host, we're fine. Not exactly. Once the host dies, it'll animate the corpse and forcefully attempt to spread the larvae prior to dying. That's... nasty. It does bring back memories. An elusive creature of the night in England, in the 1830s if I do recall. What? He was known to attack people and make incredible leaps. They called him... Spider-Man. Not quite, Agent Chen. Spring heeled Jack. He oh, had clawed oh, hands. Oh, not unlike this S. What the fuck's happening? They're taking a real world crime and turning it into the SCP. Oh my I God. don't approve of that. Yeah. SCP's clawed They're doing legs. In a way racist and sensitive way, which is weird because this is British. <laughs> How do you get racist against the British? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> His most obvious trait being the ability to leap extraordinarily high and far. But what if 
he wasn't leaping using his legs, but instead the eight legs of this parasitoid. That would give him the strength and power to not only leap, but climb and move in unbelievable ways. However, that's all just conjecture. Keep an eye on your specimen. But for the moment, I don't believe any direct action is called for. So, in conclusion, that's why you lost the bet. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, how was I supposed to know the professor was in England during the time of- Stop! Chen placed his arm in front of Kloss. He moved towards the door intercom. We have a breach. Hazmat team to Dr. Kloss's lab. Any members of MTF Cron 7 on site to report. On Kloss's table stood the vials from SCP-940. Now, fully defrosted. The research personnel had left oh my the samples God. out for only 45 minutes. But in that time, it had infected seven personnel and five D-classes. All the personnel had been administered anti-parasitic compounds and looked to be making full recoveries. What about the D-classes? Kloss? Keep them contained. Let's monitor and observe the progression. Cold, Doc. But not cruel. Sir, uh, updated report on SCP-940 instances. The three weeks in. Three I'm instances progressing as per normal. What was that? I'm trying not to judge them. <laughs> We're only halfway through. Well, one shows no sign of infection. One has <laughs> multiple infections. Termination is recommended for the last case. Let's take a look, shall we? What in the... The fourth instance, SCP-940-4, had multiple legs protruding from her body. The parasitoid normally cannibalized other larvae, so only one would grow to adulthood. However, clearly at least four or five had progressed here. Terminated. Let's have a look at SCP-9405. The one with no signs of infection. As Kloss oh, no. looked over the woman, he could find no traces of infection. Everything appeared normal. It didn't make sense. She had been exposed to the larvae the same as the others. But why was she not infected? Do we release her from containment? No, I still don't believe it. Uh, blood tests? Negative. Hmm. I want a full body scan. The researcher in Kloss adjusted the focus and direction of the MRI. That's... So far, nothing was showing up. You wouldn't find a fetus with that machine. Well, I guess magic. Yes, you oh, use an ultrasound. Oh my god. Out of the ordinary. Wait a minute. You didn't tell me she was pregnant? She wasn't. At least not the last time we checked. It looks very early. Let's focus on the fetus. That's, Kloss that's adjusted not the magnification. Yeah. It was more developed when they found out. Oh, yeah. They let it develop further, and then they removed it. Yep. ...to take a closer oh, look at the baby. I'm going to point out, I think the uterus is a little higher than that. Yeah. They put the uterus in her crotch. <laughs> They're taking hentai logic. Just so you guys know, <laughs> dicks can't reach the uterus. Yeah. Only in hentai. <laughs> Only in hentai. Yeah. <laughs> SCP-940 is a parasitoid organism with some superficial similarities to troglobitic members of the class That's Arachnida. Not... Adult specimens are highly agile and possess... They took pictures of spiders, to not the meters. anomaly! Due to the difficulty in separating SCP-940 from their hosts, average weight and body size are moot considerations. Each of their eight translucent legs is dotted regularly with six like, types hold of... Hold on. Let me go back, because that, that... Hold on. Yeah, because... That weird picture they're showing with this was not the spider shit. No, it wasn't. There's nothing suggesting spider. My god. Specialized sensory organs. IR sensitive pit organs. Ampulae. Anything that looks like 
Yeah. Look, Orenzini. they got an actual diagram of what it's supposed to look like. Then you look at the leg. <laughs> yeah, and we can't forget that that picture is also not from the SCP article. Yeah. My god. Compound and non-compound eye sensitive to UV and two additional organs of indeterminate function Wait, what? and end in large tarsal claws possess Yeah, there was what is that? It's an article. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Two additional organs and determine the function and enlarge tarsal claws. Oh my god, it's yeah, so in Indetermined function, not eyes. Yeah. It's said eyes. Compound and non-compound eyes. Oh, Sensitive okay, UV. Bad. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Sing so scopuli and setules. Yeah. They don't lie at, at the very end, apparently. Of hunting and there's spiders this again. and allowing them to climb sheer vertical surfaces with ease. SCP-940 possess a radial nerve net similar to Asteroidea or the common starfish and no central nervous system. The possibility that SCP-940 rely on their host's brain power for processing of external stimuli cannot be ruled out at this time. All known samples of SCP-940 larvae are currently in containment. Systematic purging of SCP-940 oh adult samples from civilians is currently being spearheaded by a combination of Area 14 research per personnel and mobile task force. Wait, insecticides with the SCP logo. Force Omicron 7, also known as Orkin. Samples of Foundation Strength and Redacted are in the process of being added to commercially available insecticides, which is expected to prevent any more wild strains of SCP-940 from arising. If they were to spread insecticides, they wouldn't put their fucking logo! All SCP-940 infectees are to be treated as Class 4 biohazards and are to be contained and transported under heavy sedation to Area 14, or otherwise terminated. Deceased bodies infected with any SCP-940 strain, regardless of developmental stage, are to be incinerated. Infection occurs with exposure to bodily fluids contaminated with SCP-940 eggs and or larvae. While larvae at this point are too small to be seen by the human eye, microscopic testing has revealed eggs are typically no larger than 3 to 5 microns in diameter. They're using spiders! Yeah. SCP-940 larvae, the only stage of his life cycle with many organ systems necessary for survival no, prior to integration. No? <laughs> with a host possesses leg spans from 7 to 17 microns the first scp-940 larvae to hatch will begin cannibalizing any unhatched eggs then each other in order to ensure only one larva develops into an adult within a given host hosts will often complain of abdominal and chest pains at this stage note cases of as many as five larvae reaching maturity within a single host though rare Due to competitiveness between <laughs> larvae for a host and the enormous strain placed upon the host's body, have been documented. The remaining SCP-940 larva what migrates the to the fact? chest cavity, typically attaching to a major artery, the heart, or spinal cord, positioned with its legs oriented towards the host's back. Internal organ systems of the larva oh, begin atrophy. What the fuck? The carapace of SCP-940 larva's body breaks down. Legs remain intact. Honestly, the circulatory system. All the women were in this. I feel like with females, we need to add a four. Also, <laughs> with how they misused Springfield Jack. <laughs> Anyways. System of the larva conjoins with that of the host, as does its nervous system, though to a lesser extent. The larva begins producing a number of enzymes, which causes the host body to increase production of a number of hormones, including human growth hormone. Earlier abdominal and chest pain subsides. The host experiences an increase in appetite and general listlessness. Approximately three weeks after initial infection, SCP-940 begins to alter serotonin and dopamine levels in the host's brain causing hosts to experience feelings of happiness and well-being. 
The legs of the larva, now supplied blood and nutrients by the host's circulatory system, begin to penetrate the skin of the host's back. Hosts typically like do not report any... Yeah. This is not anything like what happens. Nope. Any discomfort or alarm in this, and rarely seek treatment. Approximately five weeks after initial infection, this SCP-940 reaches... It lasts like a fucking tick. Yeah. ...is full size and maturity. Hosts are secretive about their condition. A form of communication. Oh yeah, like I obviously can't see you growing extra limbs. <laughs> is believed to occur between SCP-940 and its host. SCP-940 specimens often retract their legs, folding them flat against the host's back, allowing them to be concealed with relative ease by clothing. Additionally, SCP-940 triggers no, an not. increase in the levels of testosterone in the host's body, leading to an increased libido. Infection of new hosts is facilitated through contact with bodily fluids contaminated with SCP-940 eggs. This is usually accomplished via coitus what with an infected host. Death? All infected individuals. Don't know. Individuals that have survived six weeks of infection are considered to be in stage seven. Stage 7 infectees report the, the loss fact? of a sense of individuality, gradual clouding of the eyes leading to loss of eyesight and culminating in near total blindness, oh, and bouts of catatonia and catalepsy. Death yeah. is typically due to aneurysm caused by skyrocketing blood pressure, heart or kidney failure, or exsanguination. Infectees at this stage can be identified by the strange choking sound they issue as they attempt to draw in more oxygen than is possible. When the host biologically dies, SCP-940 will continue to animate the corpse by means of its limbs, entering a berserk state. In this state, SCP-940 will... Her? Why is she here? I don't know! ...attempt to reproduce and infect with no regard for concealment. Treatment with intravenous... Oh god, not, damn it, not you again! ...compound <laughs> is possible if administered prior to infection advancing to stage 3. Never judge a book by its cover. You never know when there's a parasitoid infection just under the surface, waiting oh, to take over your body. As always, have a care, and remember to subscribe. What in the fuck? Alright. Removal of character slash license. Four! Yeah. Wait. Was there a doctor in there? Because I forgot there was. I can look, but the SCP itself is a main character. Oh, yeah. That. There was there was a, a security uh, amongst research and security personnel. They weren't even shown being infected. They just showed the D-class. They mentioned them, but they didn't show them. So some of the infectees didn't get shown. All right. Added, uh, added gore violence. Four. <laughs> Is it gonna be four all the way down? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Deviates from the plot of the article. I, I think that's four. What about you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh fuck! It's four all over, isn't it? <laughs> Only men in the video. Today we can ignore this part because of this other part of this category. Offensiveness. <laughs> Somehow racist against British. And we can still not ignore the female part because look, they may have added women, but all the women were flashing. Yeah. So it's racist and sexist. Oh, yeah, from the removal of characters, like, there's an other thing also, that... I say. spring Jack was called spring by how fast he went around, not because he had a, a spider on his back. And he had claws because he had clawed gloves. He wasn't literally a demon with claws. Or spider claws. Yeah. Also, I forgot with the removal of characters, that's uh, other stuff, like... 
that got removed. Like, the whole fetus thing. <laughs> like, a portion of that got removed. 